Before I introduce to you a fascinating 15-year-old author, let's dwell a bit more on Professor Wale Shoinka. It appears that his famous banter with ex-president Olusha Gombasanjo may never end. At that Globalcom event, the iconic writer responded to Obasanjo's comments about him in the ex-president's recently released autobiography titled, My Watch. But first, let's remind you of what President Obasanjo said about Shoinka when I interviewed him some weeks ago. Well, Shoinka and I have been having a running battle. And uh, he has said it will not end until one of us leaves this world. And I have said in this book that you are talking about, that if he lives before me, now when I get to heaven, and I hope he will be there, he should welcome me. If I live before him, when I, he comes, I will welcome him. But um, Wale Shoyinka is a gifted man. I have always acknowledged that. But he is a bad politi politician or political analyst. And I've always said that. And that is uh, my own point of view. He may agree with it, he may not agree with it. That's my own point of view. Then, what I know as his uh, character, I pointed it out in this book. And that's my own sincere opinion. I said, look, Wale Shoyinka is a good connoisseur of uh, wine. I know that, even when I was in, uh, uh, Dodan Barracks, Wale Shoyinka will come and visit me and bring his own special wine under his armpit. Um, and, 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 I, and I love that. Uh, when I became a farmer, Wale Shoyinka will bring, will go to a good shot. And I describe him as a good aquaro hunter. He will bring the aquaro and we will agree on how many of the aquaros he has brought. Uh, I will keep, and how many I will uh, um, uh, prepare for him and dress and prepare for him. So between me and Wale Shoyinka, I think there's, uh, uh, I have regard for him. I don't know how much he has for me, but I have for him. And that's uh, uh, that. Now, here's how the Nobel Prize winner responded to Obasanjo's comments in my watch. Well, the first concession is this, that Abbasanjo is entitled to his opinion. I can also say that, unlike me, uh, I consider myself, and I prove, prove me by saying he's entitled to his opinion. Abbasanjo, on the other hand, uh, was once described by an economist, uh, and one who has served this nation, the many government, the economic capacity, who described Abbasanjo as an economic illiterate. I will quote this name so you don't think I'm making it up. Ojetunde, the late Ojetunde Aboyade, told him to his face in the presence of people said, what are you talking about? Uh, you are an economic illiterate. They nearly went into, into blows that day. I can't remember whether it was uh, Professor Mabu Budje who separated them. But believe me, there was a very serious threat. No, it wasn't me, but uh, I know who else was there. But anyway, there are witnesses. So, uh, an economic illiterate calls somebody else and, uh, a political illiterate. No problem at all. Anybody like Obasanjo who was capable of saying that he never plotted to have an unconstitutional third term in office. I, I, we, even as a writer, I need a new word to describe. <laughs> the, the thickness of that word. And anyone who would, uh, you know, not just make a statement which is a lie, but lacks the courage to say it himself. I'm talking about something he attributed to me as having been told by a young man who was his advisor, Akin Oshutoku. Said that Akin Oshutoku told him something. Why does an Agbalagba tell a lie, an Ikoko lie, using the mouth of an Ikoko? So I'm just saying one of the reasons why I never bothered when somebody like Obasanjo passes an opinion on me is that I have no respect for it. 
And I'll be bringing out uh, one of my interventions. Uh, it should come out, I think, depending on my publisher, in a few days, titled tentatively The Republic of Lions. To put things in perspective, you may need to read President Obasanjo's book titled My Command and Professor Shoyinka's response to that book in his own memoir titled You Must Set Forth at Dawn. Both books are great reads, particularly in terms of telling the story of Nigeria's contemporary history from different perspectives.